FMLA, sick leave pool, extended leave can all be confusing for both the employee and the manager. As a manager, it's important you understand the basics of this as your employee is looking to you for guidance. And above all else, when it comes to the employee work relationship, you don't want to mess with people's pay. Grow up, grow up, grow up leadership. I'd like to quickly and in the simplest terms define some of these things when it comes to FMLA. By the way, this content only applies to the US as laws are different everywhere. FMLA or the Family Medical Leave Act is in place to protect the employee to keep their job when they must be on continuous or intermediate leave to care for themselves or a family member. The employee can typically take up to 12 weeks of FMLA in a year if their employee has 50 or more staff, they've worked there for at least a year, and a medical professional fills out the required paperwork. FMLA has more to do with attendance and keeping your job. The big distinction is it does not state how you will be paid during your leave. The pay is decided by your employer in terms of having some sick leave or vacation time you can tap into, and this is usually the biggest sticking point. Just because you are approved for FMLA doesn't mean you'll get paid during this time. Check with your human resources, benefits, or talent services staff to get clarification. There's also short-term and long-term disability insurance that may be available to you. This is for an extended continuous leave. The main thing to note with employer disability is that you're only going to receive a percentage of your pay, typically 60% of your normal salary. Also, this is not the same as social services or state-run disability. We're talking about disability insurance through your employer. The other leave and compensation that comes up is workers' comp. This is when an employee is injured due to the work in some capacity. The main point with filing for workers' comp is that the employee is seeking to get reimbursed for lost wages and medical expenses. Filing for workers' comp does not mean that you are automatically on FMLA and get to tap into paid time off. It means that you submit your claim to get paid back for that missed time. You often will need to see a doctor that is designated by the employer to be approved. And it's on the employee to show that the injury was a result of work and the employer. Main takeaways are FMLA is covering your job so that you cannot be terminated for being out. The employer decides on how you'll be paid during your leave. Disabilities only pay a percentage of your normal salary and workers' compensation is more about getting reimbursed for lost wages and medical expenses. I highly suggest connecting with your HR or talent services staff for more information and guidance if you or your employee is seeking or needing to be an on any type of extended leave. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.